Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are understanding the how protein, shorting and protein transfer from the Golgi apparatus, Golgi body and Golgi complex. So first you can see in this picture, these are secretory pathways. Okay. So as we know that uh, proteins as well as lipids and polysaccharides are transport or sorting from the uh, Golgi apparatus to their final destination to the secretory pathways. Now the integrated pathways involves the sorting of protein uh, into different kinds of transport vesicles. Okay, here it is transport vesicle, which bursts from the uh, the uh, Golgi trans Golgi network. Okay, which bursts from the trans Golgi network. This is a trans Golgi network. It's the last part. Okay, trans Golgi networks. They uh, deliver the content to the appropriate cellular location. For example, that is deliver the content. That means the protein. Uh, from trans Golgi network to the lysosome or uh, trans Golgi networks to the uh, cell membrane or uh, extracellular okay directly transfer the protein uh, from uh, trans Golgi network to the uh, cell cell extracellular and this is the uh, secretory granules okay immature secretory granules so uh, there are main three distinct routes for protein transport from the Golgi so in this figure first route Proteins can be targeted to lead endosome. Here it is the lead endosome. Okay, this is the first route. And then which develop into the lysosome. Okay. Se second route is the very simplest route. It's direct transfer protein from the trans Golgi network to the plasma membrane. Okay, so here it is the direct this is the second route. Which leads to the continuous secretion of proteins from the cell as well as the incorporation of protein lipids into plasma membrane. Okay, both. Furthermore, protein can be transferred from the Golgi to the plasma membrane by recycling endosome. Here is the recycling endosome. Okay, uh, which also acts as a recycle endocytose protein to the cell membrane or plasma membrane. Now, addition of third route is the protein can be stored. This is the third route. So the protein can be stored in the distinct uh, secretory granules for regulated secretion. So uh, suppose certain cells have the uh, uh, this uh, certain cells uh, have the regulatory secretory pathways. For example, uh, including the uh, hormones released from endocrine cells and digestive enzyme released from uh, from pancreatic NCR cells. Okay. So in these trans Golgi networks. Okay, this is a trans Golgi network in secretory granules. Proteins are stored into immature secretory granules. Here the immature secretory granules and where selective aggregation occurs. Okay, here it is a uh, in, uh, here it is a uh, aggregation. Okay, aggregation occurs due to the structure of uh, characteristic slightly acidic pH of the network. This granule mature. Okay, now the, this granule mature. Sorting contains until specific signal promote fusion with the plasma membrane. For instance, pancreatic digestive enzyme. Suppose it is a pancreatic digestive uh, enzyme cells, okay, the uh, NCR cell, for example, the uh, trans Golgi network having this type of secretory pathway. So the uh, immature secretory granules generate then mature secretory, uh, secretory granules. Uh, when the uh, pancreatic digestive enzyme are stored until food in the stomach. And small intestine trigger the secretion. Okay, then and then these granules, okay, mature granules, are secreted. More other proteins are secreted from the cell, and still other are specifically targeted to other intracellular destination. For example, such as lysosome in animal cells or vacuoles in yeast and plant cells. Okay, so next is the uh, resident protein sent back to Golgi. As earlier described in my previous video, how uh, residual proteins uh, of uh, ER lumen, which is sent back to the Golgi to the ER by the KDEL receptor. Here is also there are two types of protein responsible for the uh, transport back to the, okay, uh, send back to the Golgi. So Golgi apparatus proteins or residual proteins of Golgi. Particular those proteins involved in glycosylation need to stay within the Golgi compartment instead of moving along the secretory pathways. So first, it is the protein like menosteriase 2. Okay, often trans membrane contain signals in their membrane and cytoplasmic domains. They re retain them in the Golgi. 
okay same like is this chaperone and disulfide isomer is having this uh, amino acid signals okay now the uh, some golgi proteins also have signals for retrieval from the lead compartment in the secretory pathways okay so one example of the golgi protein which signals uh, for retrieval from later compartment in the secretory pathways menosidase 1 this is the exam menosidase 1 uh, so the returning from the endosomes to the trans golgi network similar to signals in the resident ia protein okay so next is the uh, distinct signals target protein to diffuse plasma membrane domain of polarized cell okay so protein transport to the plasma membrane of polarized cell so uh, in various cell type including epithelial cells this is a picture of epithelial cells of uh, intestine okay distinct plasma membrane domain exists there is apical membrane and basolateral membrane in epithelial cell organized into tissue transport of protein to the plasma membrane become complex due to due to cell polarization the plasma membrane is divided into the uh, two uh, parts okay two domains you can say apical and basolateral domain and the each domains contain the specific protein okay personalized to their function so the transfer protein from the trans golgi network for example this is a trans golgi network to this uh, trans golgi network to this domain select packaging into transport vesicles essential okay here is also vesicle required this selective occurs either in trans golgi network recycling endosome it is directly or recycling endosome here it is also directly or uh, recycling endosome uh, so the uh, for for instance intestinal epithelial cells the apical membrane facing the intestinal lumen site is specialized for the uh, nutrient absorption because they present the microvilli which is uh, increase the cell surface okay <coughs> while the basolateral membrane cover the rest of the cells okay now the protein bound for the basolateral domain for example this one okay protein bound to the basolateral domains the, the domain carry this okay so the, uh, this having the uh, amino acid sequence like dilucine or another is the tyrosine containing hydrophobic motif in their cytoplasmic domains this is the cytoplasmic domain on the other hand protein heading of apical domain are directly by signal enoling gpi anchor okay here is gpi anchor the cytoplasmic cytoplasmic um, sorry apical membrane heavy okay and uh, rather than the amino acid sequence okay they having the both uh, gpi and uh, carbohydrates so the uh, tight junction okay here it is a tight junction between neighboring cell maintain the identity of the apical basolateral membranes by preventing diffusion of proteins between this domain okay this is a tight junction what is the role of here this tight junction that uh, prevent the diffusion of protein between these uh, domains okay two domains one cell and another cell so this is one cell two cells and three cells and this is a tight junction Okay, so next is the protein are targeted to lysosome by meno 6 phosphate residues. As earlier described in my previous video, that uh, how lysosomal protein are glycos glycosylation within the Golgi apparatus with the six meno 6 phosphate. Okay, here. So uh, this video link also given in the description box. So please watch it. So it is on, only that uh, the uh, trans Golgi network. Okay, here uh, tra in trans Golgi network that uh, this glycosylation. Uh, it happened and then the trans Golgi membrane contain the uh, meno 6 phosphate receptor which binds to these particular proteins and they transfer to the in vesicle to the uh, late endosome and the disosome okay so this is the normal uh, funda for the how meno 6 phosphate uh, residues uh, sorry how meno 6 phosphate proteins are transported from the uh, trans Golgi network to the uh, lysosome okay so this is a particular protein for the lysosome so this is all about today videos uh, check the description box for more details and if you are new here please subscribing and hitting the bell icon for the new updates and share the video if you found it helpful thank you for watching